to make butter tarts. Now these butter tarts came from Canada, so they were my grandmother's recipe, and my mother's going to make it, and I'm going to film her for everyone, so maybe you might want to try it sometimes. These are really good. They don't stay in the house too long, they're that good. <laughs> so you want to make plenty of them, because people love the butter tarts. So here we are with my mother. Okay, I'm going to bring you over here. And we're going to, hopefully I can get you there, and we're going to show you the, re the recipe, um, what we got. So hey, you're on camera. Hi everybody, this is um, Monkey's mom, and um, we're going to do these butter tarts today. Now, I don't know if Americans know what a butter tart is. It's similar to a pecan tart, except with no pecans. And it's thinner. It's really nice and gooey and runny. And the kids love them. You can't have enough in the house. But you have to follow this recipe exactly because my husband's mother developed it. And she has spent a lot of time on it. And she has it down pat. Believe me, some of it sounds a little weird. But just follow the recipe and you'll be fine. Now, the thing that we're doing different in this one is that we're using um, trivia uh, sugar because she's diabetic and I'm there almost. So, um, we're going to use that. But you don't have that problem. You can use regular sugar, just the same amount, right? It'll be yep. the same amount. Yep. So, it, you can just substitute with regular sugar. So, we're going to get this going, and I'm going to let her do her thing, and I'm going to film her, okay? So, here we go. I'm going to move these pans out of her way, so she's got some. And what you're going to do, I'm going to show you the ingredients we got over here, right there. Hopefully you can see that. Move your cup, please. And you're going to have... Now, she's doing two, two of these. Um, she's going to do two muffin pans, okay? So, um, there's, what, 12 in each one of yeah. these. So, she's going to do that. So, she's going to need two butter things. And then she's going to have three eggs. Now, you're going to have three eggs for each one? No. No. No, you only need three eggs for, for all this. Yeah. So that's pretty good. That's not bad. And then you're going to use uh, pure vanilla. And you got your corn syrup that you're going to use. We got the clear one. That's what you want to do. You don't want the dark one. Now we're going to put raisins in ours. So we got some raisins. Now sometimes she does some plain and then some raisins. It says sometimes she does nuts too. Yeah, you have nuts in it. Okay, so you have nuts in it. Now we got these. They're the in pastry. the pastry. And you get them in the, in the cooler part. And then you have your half and half right here. You're going to need half and half. I got her a big one because she can use it with her coffee. And then we have, now she's going to do mixture, she, sorry, she's going to mixture the brown and the white together. And uh, that's what she's going to do. So um, that's it. And we got her little dish here so she can go and do her thing. I'm going to move these out of her way so she can. Um... Okay, the first thing you need to do is we're going to put the raisins in a pot. You're going to get some water. I need a cup of water. Okay, the cup's behind the half and half, the measuring cup. This is a cup? Yep. I think it's two cups, so you might want to halfway. Let me see. Yeah, this is a two-cupper. Yeah, just go halfway. It's one cup of water, okay, and we're going to do one cup of raisins. Okay, so I'm going to get the box for her because she has a trouble with her arm. So I'm going to kind of help her a little bit. So, and we'll open these up. If I can't open up my scissors, 
Yeah. Probably. These scissors are a knife. These things are so hard to open. They're childproof. Get far they're childproof. Anyways, we're gonna open these up. And we'll let you put your cup in there. Okay? the box pretty much half of the bag okay half the bag the box is right here okay put raisins in the water mm -hmm. stick them on the stove and how long are you gonna um, put them on and how high well I'm gonna put the burner on probably about an eight once it starts to boil, you can time it for five minutes. So you're going to put it on for eight minutes altogether? No, I'm going to put it on, on eight for the, for the heat. Oh, okay. And I'm going to uh, boil these, but they have to be in a boil when you start timing. You boil them for five minutes. Okay, so we're going to wait, and when the five minutes comes, I'll turn you back on. Okay, so now we kind of got like a boiling thing going on here. I'm going to kind of tilt you up a little bit so you can see it. Now we're going to put it on for five minutes. Sorry, don't mean to move you off. Now she doesn't know how to do my timer, so I'm going to do it. Okay, can you set the oven at 475, please? Yeah, I'll make sure I don't my pot in here, so we're going to take it out. We don't have a lot of room around here. It'll be nice when we get the kitchen done. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to turn this on to what? Uh, I think it's 475 it says. 475? Just let me double check. 475. Okay, so we're going to put it on for 475. And hit start, and it's going to heat up. Okay? Because it takes a while to get to 475. So. All right. So, we got that boiling for five. And she's got the oven on now, so she's going to let it heat up. Okay? All right, so I'm going to turn you off and... When the next step comes up, are you going to do another next step or can we pause for a few minutes? We can pause. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back now. Her five minutes is almost up, right? Or is yep. it up? 44 yeah. seconds, 43 so, seconds. We got it almost done and uh, she's going to take it off in just a minute. Uh, big thrill. Uh, the only thing I did was I turned it down a little bit. Once it got to a rolling boil, I turned it down to a number five just so that it wouldn't burn and I stirred it a little bit, moved the, the raisins around a little bit because I don't want them burning. Okay, we're just about done here. And you're going to take it off the heat and just leave it and let it cool. All right. You have to let it cool down, turn off the burner, yep. and that is that for that. How long does it take for it to cool down, you think? Uh, well, I... I usually make the um, the ba the uh, filling, okay. and by that time it should be cool enough to use. Mm -hmm. You don't, I don't stick it in the fridge or anything. Now, if when I used to do it, I used to cook the raisins ahead of time, and then they were really cool. They just have to go back down to room temperature. That's all. They don't have to be in the refrigerator. Okay. Okay. So now you're going to make your mix, right? Yeah. So I'm going to bring it over here so we can see you. Now I took this recipe and I, I halved it because I don't 
need to have all these butter tarts calling to me in the middle of the night. So um, I have to. So I'm going to go with two and a half cups of lightly packed sugar. Now tell them what you, what you have on here and what you're halving because they might want the whole recipe where okay. they don't do a half. Okay, it calls for five cups of lightly packed light brown sugar. So what are you going to use? I'm going to use the Trivia Brown Sugar Blend. And um, how much? It's, I'm going to use uh, two and a half cups. Okay. Can you open that? Or yeah, I got it. Okay. I think I do. Yeah. This picture walker behind you. Sorry. Just in case you need to sit down, okay? I don't want you to... Now this is two cups. Now you're only using a half cup, right? A whole cup? I'm using two and a half cups. Oh, two and a half cups. Because it calls for five. And I don't need five cups of sugar. No. no. I don't need to make that many. But it depends how many you're going to make, right? Because you've got a gang coming, and they like butter tarts, so I'll make the whole thing. Yeah. That's two. And i got to do a half so I'm going to use pretty much this whole package. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops. That's too much. going to mix it with white sugar, but I it calls for light brown, so we'll just use the light brown. You sure? Yep. Yep. Alright. Now we need, says it, we need seven eggs, but I'm going with three because I'm making half the thing. Mm-hmm. And use the whole egg, right? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't matter what eggs, like if you had extra large eggs or something like that? I doesn't matter. As far as I'm concerned, I, I use the eggs I got at the time. I think you have to go with a large or an extra large. A small egg might not do it. Okay. We, those are large eggs, by the way. They're, they're not extra, so that's what we use. So. Where's my spatula? I'll get it for you. Here you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll mix this up a little bit. You can kind of show them. Let me see. Yep. So they can see. Hmm. I think that'll work. <coughs> Good. Now we need one cup of melted butter. Alright. <clears throat> now you want me to um, put it in something? Do you want to microwave it? or? You yeah, want... microwave it. So we'll just stick it in a bowl. This is half a cup, this one thing? Yeah, it's half a cup. So okay. I'll give you two. Okay? Yeah, I just need one. Calls for... Yeah. Wait a minute. It calls for one cup, so I only need to use half a cup. Oh, okay, because you're splitting it. Yeah. Okay. So you want to put it in here. I'll um, put it in the microwave for you and melt it. I need a knife. Right, well, I'm going to just use this one right here.
Okay, Dad, can you put that in the microwave for me? Yeah, for how long in the microwave? Just a few minutes? Till it melted. It's so, got to be melted. Okay, guys, we got the butter melted. As you can see, I burn my fingers. So. <laughs> that's why I have Laura for my shoe yeah. sous chef. She I, that's why I don't cook. I let everybody else do it. Anyway, okay, so now we, we're going to continue on to what we were doing. Okay, make after sure this. Oh, I'm no, still okay. in pain. Let's yeah, go. I wouldn't touch that. I wouldn't touch that son of a gun anyhow. Well, you want to put? You want me to pour it in there? No. Well, I've already burnt two fingers. I'm okay. Why? Well, you're gonna burn the rest of the hand? Yeah. Oh, these are in pain, like really bad. Maybe you need to go to the hospital. No. No. I see enough of the virus. Don't need to see anymore. Okay, so how much you got there? Half a cup. Okay, so we da we melted the butter, and it's half a cup, and don't do what I did. I grabbed it and didn't think about it. So don't do it. We added it to our mixture. Okay. Now the next thing we have to do, let's see here. You might want to move that if that's hot and just put it in the sink. Uh, we're going to use a quarter of a cup of half and half. Okay, so you got your half and half. Where's your half now? Right here. You might want to use, move that, Mom. Give me that. Give me this. I'm trying to get rid of things. I'll wipe that off. With what? It's called stuff. Okay. And, okay. So, there we go. All right. Okay. So now we're going to do the half and half. Yeah, maybe. You need, oh, I can't open it. I got it. My fingers are broke. Burnt. Not broke. Burnt. I'm throbbing in pain. Take a pail. I'll wrap them. No, I'll calm them down. So what you do, you put aloe on them. And uh, I have the aloe in the fridge. I keep it cold all the time. And that takes all the heat out of your fingers. But I really touched it like really bad. So anyway, she's going to do the half and half. You got it? Yeah. You need help. No, I'm fine. Okay. Of course, Shea Bear came in and laughed. <laughs> Quarter cup, a half and half. Because he blew up yesterday, he said. Mix this all up nice. Okay, so you might want to show them a little bit how you're mixing it. So, do you fold it or do you whip it, or no, you just kind of just stir it gently? Just stir it with your your with your spatula or your spoon or whatever you got. Oh, okay. So you, you don't do any kind of crazy whipping or anything. No, we don't. We don't do any. Okay. Okay. Um. I need a. Uh, Two teaspoons of pure vanilla. Okay, you got the van <gasps> vanilla right there for you. Oh, wait a minute. I got to do a quarter of a cup of cornstarch first. Quarter cup and of corn syrup. Sorry. What's what do you need for your um, quarter? No, for your teaspoon for your uh, vanilla. I need for my vanilla. I need. Two teaspoons. I got you one teaspoon here, and you can use that twice, okay? Yeah. Right. So she's going to do her corn starch first. Corn syrup. Corn syrup, and then we'll do the vanilla. You want to do it in order, right? You don't want to mess it, it up. Does. Well, if you don't do it in order, you're going to miss something. Right. Mess. I've done that dozens <clears throat> of times. Did you get this off? Or not yet. I'm working on it. i got to sit down, though. Yeah, these things are hard to get off. Well, I might have to take that knife and poke it, because it only tore part of it.
get it? Yeah. Right. Half quarter of a cup of quarter of a cup of corn syrup. That's good enough. Two teaspoons of vanilla syrup. Tell them what you're doing. Our vanilla. Okay. You're only using that one teaspoon, so you're going to do it twice. Right. Because right. that's what I have. So if you have a two teaspoon, then use the two teaspoon. If you want. Yeah, most people don't. Most people have one teaspoon, one tablespoon. Right. I am not a perfectionist, so. I work hard at it, but I'm not a perfectionist. Okay. Well, Got that, enough. and then we need a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. We got any salt around, Lolly? Above your head. Above my head. In the cabinet. Oh, in the cabinet. I'm wrapping my fingers. Oh, okay. So the pain will stop. Maybe. There it is. I don't like things too salty. No, how much salt did you put in it? Just a quarter of a teaspoon. That's all it calls for? Yeah. Okay. Now we mix this well until it's all incorporated. So what do you mean by that if somebody doesn't understand that? Mix it till it's mixed. Okay. All mixed up, all one color. All right. Takes a little bit to do this. How long does it take, you think, to mix it up? A few minutes? Yeah, a couple of minutes. You just want to make sure it's stirred pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that there's nothing sitting on the bottom. Can I show it to them a little bit? There yeah. you go. So you, oh. so you can see it a little bit. There you go. Yeah. There you go. You don't want anything sitting on the bottom, like the, the sugar, any part of the sugar. You want it mixed in. Now the last thing you do is you take those raisins and you drain them. Okay, so I'll get you a drainer. If I can find one right here. Take the liquid out of them. Uh, watch the camera. Alright, so I don't think there'd be much left by the time they sit. For this five. is what they look like while they're sitting. You got a little bit of syrup in there. You know, from the from the raisins. So I'm gonna take my colander and just drain them. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, let me see. Um, yeah. Are they cool? No, they're still they're still hot. Yeah, they're hot. Not real hot, 
but they're hot. I mean, I wouldn't play with them in my with my finger. Can you show me? Okay, we'll let them sit for a few minutes and um, let them so, let them gonna, cool a little bit longer. We'll just let them sit there and cool, and then we'll be back. Okay, so now we got them down to where you can, they're warm, they're not hot, so if you can put them in your mouth and chew them, they're fine. And they're so nice. And then she's just going to put them in there. And I'm going to fold them around. You're going to fold them? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll be doing dishes for a while. Yeah. Somebody will. Uh, I won't be. I'm on vacation. <laughs> I'm going to have to double my finger for uh, work. See? Bad. I did. Uh, just to keep the aloe from not getting everywhere. See? I had to do that by myself. So. See? They're all mixed up. Yeah. You folded them up. folded them and everything. Yeah. It didn't take long. No. So what do you do now? Now we have to do play with the pastry. So I'm going to clean this mess up and get ready for my pastry. Okay? Okay. So when you're ready, then we'll, we'll come back. Okay. Okay, guys. We're back. Now you're going to use your flour. And she's got her dough. She's opening it up. Um, yeah, so um, I just flour my... My space that I'm going to use my dough on so it doesn't stick. And it's self-rising. It doesn't really matter. She said, um, I want to type. You're just going to... It's just it so down. it prevents it from sticking to yeah. the It's just what we had. Board. We, that's all. We had self-rising, so... That's what we had. We'll throw this away. We don't need it. And she's going to roll it out. I hope that you can, guys can see what she's doing here. Uh, Take your time. You don't have to rush. Okay. Now the hardest part, I had this all figured out when I lived in my house. I'm bring you closer so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay. But since I've moved, everything's moved with me and everything's been upside down. And so we have to figure out what size of a circle we need to go into the pan. Now you got to remember that when you uh, cut the circle out, you don't want it the same size as the um, muffin, pan. muffin pan no. because it's got to go down in and it's going to have liquid in it, so it's it's got to be bigger than that. Let's so. do the new one first. Oh. I bought a new one last night, so let's use that one first. Okay. Alright, so. so what do you need? Around, um, something around like this little glass. Do you think that would be good? Oh, that's too small. Too small. It's got to be bigger. It's amazing how big it has to be. Do you have another blue glass? Or, or but your yellow, your, your blue glass. I'll take the blue glass. How about that one? That should do. Right. Yep, that should do it. See, it's bigger. Uh huh. So then you just get a little flour on it. And you sink it into there, and it came off with it, like usual. That's okay. And then you just dust it with a little bit of flour. That's fine. And I put it down in. Now my Butter tarts don't look as good as some people's. Some people's are just absolutely perfect. I'm not a perfect person, so I don't even try. I think you do just fine. They get well eaten. Yeah, well, once they get to your stomach, they all look alike anyhow. That's the way I look at it. No. They taste yeah. good. When you do this, I place them as close as I possibly can and get as many out as I can before I have to start using the rolling pin. Okay, 
I'm going to show them your thing here. So you can see it a little bit better. I'm just going to tip it up a little bit there. So that's the way they're going to look. Try not to split them open, okay? So you don't want any liquid going underneath. Do you think the cup could have been just a little bit bigger, or you think that's fine? This will work. It could have been just a tad bigger. Okay. I'm going to have to watch putting the liquid yeah, in. Yeah, I was noticing, you know, it's way down in here, and maybe it should have been up more. But that's okay. It still works. I mean, it's, it's just that you're going to have to make sure it doesn't over. Once you overdo. figure out what size you need, you'll always remember, and you'll yeah. just keep that handy. For when you make tarts. I have another tart I make is Christmas tarts, but I'm not doing that this year. Because nobody likes them like I do. I'm about the only one that really likes them. I made them because uh, my mom used to make them. And you tend to do things your mom used to do. But nobody much likes them. Laura doesn't like coconut, and they got coconut in them, so I'm not going to make them just for me. I've got seven, so I might get two more when I start to mm -hmm. play with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn you off, and we'll come back when she's finished this part, since you already seen. And then when we get ready to pour the ingredients in, I will put you back on. So stay tuned, everyone. Okay, guys, oh. now we're back. So she's going to take this stuff. Her mix here. Your filling. She, and she's going to put it in her pan that she's already done. So we're going to let her do that. I'm going to move this over so she's got some room. And Okay, fellas. All I've been using is I got a ladle here. And I'm ladling it into a mixing a, a cup. Okay. A measuring cup. It's just that it was easier for her. Um, with my you could just kind of scoop it with a spoon. Your, your or hand might be a little more steady than mine. I don't like to get this stuff all over the place because then it burns. So what I do is I just put a little bit in there, not too much, and you want to show because them. it expands. Okay, let's show them real quick. Let me see. Yeah, you don't. So kind of halfway in these, you might want to do, because uh, it will bubble up and and expand, and it will flow over if you put too much. And in. then you've got a mess. Yeah. So it, th this mix that she made, it, sh it goes a long way. Oh shit! Excuse me. Filled one too full. Come out with my fill too full. Well, then take a little spoon and spoon it out. Here. There's a 
this kind of thickens up a bit as you're working with it as it sets mm -hmm. it begins to thicken up so it goes a lot third far farther than you think it's going to go i'm going to move that a little bit just so they can see it better. I'm going to take a little bit out of this one. Mm. I'll fill those couple, couple too full. All right. As you can see, I've got lots of uh, liquid left over, yeah. so I can do another, oh, I can do another dozen. Yeah, easy. Easy. Yeah, so it goes a long way. Yeah. So okay. now you've got to, you have your oven heated up at 475. Right. Now this is very important. You put the tarts in the oven, which, which you can do for me because yeah. I'm not too steady on my legs today. So you're going to put it on the top because the other one's way down there. So I'm going to put these in the oven for how long? Okay, on 475 for two minutes. 475. Two minutes. And then we're going to turn the oven down. And this is an important part. It's important that it starts at 475. And it's important that you turn it down after two minutes. Now you remember, yeah. gra Grandma has done this a lot, and and she has this all figured out in her head. So this is the way she does it. I I can remember many a burnt tart before she got to this situation. So she worked on this for years. Every year she was doing it a little bit different. Okay, so you you ready to do your next one? In your other pan while you're doing that? Oh, I will in a minute. All right. Is there anything else? That you, after your two minutes, what do you do after that? Turn the oven down to um, 300. Oh, okay. And we're going to cook eight minutes at 300. All right. So we're going we're gonna to do all that, and then we'll come back after that's all done. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so now what we're going to do, we did the 8 minutes at 300. At 300, so now we're going to um, turn that off and we're going to, we have to turn the whole pan. You have to turn the whole pan, so I'm going to show you from here, <clears throat> as long as you can see. And you can see my big behind. Okay. So hopefully you can see that. So we're going to turn it, and I need another one here. Okay, so without burning myself. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're just going to turn it completely around. Yeah, like that. Just like that. Okay. Then you're going to put them on for three at 300 degrees for another 10 minutes. For 10 minutes? Yeah, at 300. Alright, so we're going to do 10. And hit start. Okay, so when that's done, we'll we'll come back. Of um, one point here before you go. Uh -huh. um, Grandma has written here, watch filling does not bubble. If you see it bubbling, Open the door to the stove and light, let it cool slightly. Total cooking time, 20 minutes until filling is firm. Could take a few minutes longer if the oven is open too long when you're turning the pan. So we'll have to see. Um, but right now we're doing 10 more minutes at 300. And we're keeping the light on so you can watch it. You want to want to be able to watch it, but you don't want to keep opening and closing it either. So keep the light on so you can watch it. Because you don't want to watch them bubble over. I've seen them bubble over and they get really sugary. Like a spun, like a spun sugar, like a 
like toffee almost. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure they don't... Grandma went through a lot to get these tarts just perfect, so I want to make them perfect for her. Okay, so we'll be back in a few minutes after our 10 minutes is up. Now we're back. We're going to take them out. The buzzer just buzzed. So we are good to go, I hopefully. I'm going to show you here. I'm going to show you. Okay. And we're going to bring them out. Yeah, they look kind of brown, don't they? Yeah, look fine. Hope they taste as good as grandma. Oh, shit. As long as I don't burn myself. Okay, so this is what they look like. It's a good time when we took them out. Just right. And there you go. Okay, so. reset your oven to 475. She's going to make another batch. I'm not going to put you through it, but um, <laughs> you've already like, seen. Like it's agony. No, what you already know. So it's just the same process over again. So, um, yeah. So there you go. There's the tarts. Hopefully you're going to let them cool and you can dig them out. And then put them in a container if you're giving them away or wherever you want to put them. And in your tummy. Yep. That's where these are going. As soon as they cool off, I'm going to sample one. So maybe I'll sample one in front of you. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, it's kind of cooled. Um, yeah, I can take them right out. So there you go. Oh, that's a miracle. I got it out. There you go. That's what it looks like. And the bottom. Got a little brown right here, but not bad. I think that's because the syrup might have leaked down in, into the tart. But that's what they look like. <coughs> and I love these. These are so good. They never stay long enough. So she used to hide them and freeze them and... <laughs> And do whatever she could because she tried to do them ahead. And me and my kids and dad and my father, yeah, we'd all be into these. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you guys try it. Um, it's something different, maybe for you. Um, yeah, just try it out and see if you like it. And you can you can put whatever you want in it, really. Raisins and nuts and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, so you can decorate raisins. it up. Anyways, we're going to take a bite of this, and i got to help her with the other one. Oh. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Is it hot? No. Mm-mm. -mm. Yeah, just perfect. Oh, my God. Good? Oh. Are they good? Yeah, they're good. Like Excellent. Grandma's? Excellent. Did a great job, Mom. Okay. Um, so, i got to go, and y'all st um, stay tuned for more videos. we got a few more coming up, and, um... On Shaver 1000's channel too. So stay tuned and have a great Christmas everyone. Bye.